Hello and welcome. So before I begin, I would like to share with you some of the stuff that I have over at foxytees.com. It's F-O-X-Y-T-E-A-S.com. And I have my lovely gift box. And so um, if you're interested in this gift box, it's 25% off now until November 30th. And uh, just to kind of give you a preview, I kind of put everything into one box. Um, and so uh, it has uh, chocolate. Okay. And this one is uh, like whiskey chocolate, guys. Okay. <laughs> Um, also, we have a, a mushroom cup, and I, I'm going to go through and share with you all the different, uh, like, cup designs I have, and I have more. So, um, whatever that you see, it's just, um, I, I guess, like a handful of some of the stuff I had readily available. Um, some of the gift boxes come with a scrunchie and a pair of uh, warm socks. Um, all of the boxes come with tea, and this one is pumpkin spice chai. It comes with a golden uh, tea strainer and also a golden spoon, which uh, it's kind of like in the back over here. Um, for some, if you opt for it, it comes with a notebook, a notebook and a pen. And uh, and depending on the box, uh, honey. Okay. And also we have um, honey sticks. And... We have this cute little succulent candle uh, for those warm and cozy nights. And yeah, so that's what I have. And also a blanket. So yeah, behind all of this is a warm and cozy blanket. And I have different colors and styles. And the colors will probably match like the the. Uh, cup that you actually choose so the other um, designs that I have this one is called sage this one is lavender I also have olive if you're into a uh, green this one is pine trees And this is Daisy. And I have a few uh, other um, uh, tea mugs um, that is on the website. So uh, again, if you're interested in that, 25% off. Um, and the sale lasts until November 30th. So let's go ahead and get on with the reading. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and ring the meditation singing bowl and let's go ahead and get started. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels and highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, guys. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. So again, there's another announcement that I wanted to make. And that is um, all of the personal readings are 25% off. Um, and so that actually lasts until November 30th. Um, so if you're wanting to book a reading, now's the perfect time to do so. And um, even if you book now, you don't have to use your reading right away. You could reserve it until next year if you see fit. So um, I will always um, have a record whether or not you used uh, your reading or not. So it is, um, I guess it's infinite, right? Um, so you can always hold your personal reading on reserve. Um, so again, um, if you're interested in um, getting a personal reading, then you can check out my website. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into the reading. And so let's go ahead and see what is the energies of Divine Masculine. So Spirit, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to Divine Masculine. And if the karmic energy wants to come through, please reveal karmic energy. 
What is the energy overall of divine masculine towards divine feminine? And if the karmic energy wants to show through, please reveal the karmic energy. What is the current energy? Please, spirit, thank you. Okay, so we have here a Queen of Swords. So what I'm seeing is that Masculine would like to uh, open up and communicate to the feminine, um, you know, and just have a conversation. So if you're not on talking terms with Masculine, um, they want to talk okay um they they actually want to have like a, a lively conversation something that is fun um for some it may be flirty um but if it's not flirty um it, it's um i guess it's it's like a warming up right it's a warming up of having a friendly conversation like, hey, how have you been? You know, how was your holiday, et cetera, et cetera. And um, wow, look at this. We have King of Pentacles. So masculine wants to communicate to feminine that they're uh, more grounded. Uh, maybe uh, their sense of stability is established. Um I'm also seeing that masculines, uh, they want to exude a sense of loyalty. Now, whether or not that's towards the feminine, um, I feel that that is just for some, okay? Uh, especially if you're on talking terms. And um, this is what I'm feeling. If masculine is feeling really successful at this time, then they actually have something to offer or give towards the feminine. So I really feel like uh, for some of you, you might have some sort of conversation with the masculines this week. <laughs> and this is about masculines seeing the feminines as uh, someone who is passionate and sexy and vivacious. And um, they really look at the feminine as a leader in their community and um Wow, we have your nine of wands. So, you know, perhaps masculines, um, they want to do whatever it takes to really step forward. Now, they can't really face the feminines. Do you see that this gentleman is like looking towards the side? But, you know, they're kind of walking away, okay, towards something more. Now, I really feel like this is kind of an obstacle for the masculine, but this is a decision that masculine is taking okay slowly because i really see that they're not looking forward they're stepping forward but they don't they're not exactly sure okay yeah this is really positive so masculines are actually uh learning to say no uh learning to let go of stress just letting go of like anything that has been weighing them down because they realize that they've been really irrational or overthinking in their head. And um, it, it just it wasn't fair. So they're starting to see that, you know, maybe the karmic uh, played a role. And it really was unfair for uh, masculines to put themselves in that position. And the other thing I'm also hearing is that it's unfair that masculine is receiving this kind of treatment from the karmic person. And last but not least, um, they really feel that it's unfair that they have treated you in a certain way. Okay. Maybe they pushed you to the side or um, they really didn't honor your feelings or um, they just didn't really regard anything that had anything to do with you. So I really feel like this is warm, open conversation. Now, at the end of this week, we're going into a Gemini full moon. So there's a lot of scattered energy um, that you may uh, receive around this time. Yeah, and I see here the magician, and it came up in reverse. So this is about manipulation. 
Maybe it's about masculines being greedy, uh, wanting things for themselves. And we have King of Wands energy. So um, like really feeling like they want to be honest. Okay. Um, also like wanting to take action. So this is really a really good week, I would say. At least it's a step forward. Like in the past couple of weeks, I saw that masculines, they're like really stagnant, but now they're actually stepping up, wanting to move things forward. They're, they're not sure like what you, what the future may hold, but they're starting to feel that it's time to press forward. Okay. Yeah, there's an opportunity for masculines to really approach the feminines and, um, and really come together. So... I don't know. I mean, if, if this is your situation, you know, go ahead and uh, make a comment. Um, but this is what I'm seeing because they're actually more social. Uh, they're more talkative is what I'm seeing. Wanting to communicate or express themselves, wanting to do the right thing. Okay. But let's see if this energy sticks. So let's see. Yeah, because yeah, beneath I see here the Wheel of Fortune. So this is masculines going towards their destiny. Okay, so masculine is thinking, you know, maybe they have like a lot of anxiety when it comes to people in general. Okay, so if masculine was dealing with like a karmic person, let's say that they have a family with them, they have children, or, you know, they're in a marital situation, they're in a relationship with someone else, whatever the case is. Okay, it's because, you know, they're either a father figure or, you know, they just want to offer a sense of stability. And this week, uh, their financial situation actually looks pretty decent. Okay, um, so I really don't feel that they're uh, struggling or feeling like they're struggling. Maybe for some, you know, maybe they don't feel 100%, but it does feel more positive uh, than what I have been seeing in the past uh, few weeks. The thing is, is that they're really conflicted, okay, because they realize that they internalize a lot when it comes to um, their personal life, okay? Maybe, you know, they can't really talk about um, their situation, but I really feel like I see here masculine is thinking a lot, okay? Now, how do they feel towards you, feminine, is that... <sighs> They want to, sh uh, they want to tell you that they're thankful. Okay, um, they're thankful for getting to know the feminine and also revisiting the past. So this is like going down memory lane. Um, so again, you could receive some sort of conversation about the past and um, about how innocent things were, or like going back towards the beginning. Um, so to speak, I really do feel that um, this is like, they feel like it's time for a reunion, a time for, for coming together. And also we have here the Queen of Cups and it's in the upright position. So again, like they're feeling uh, compassionate or feeling compelled to give you a gift. Uh, if for some, it could be a physical gift. They also uh, want to give you something because they have healed. So um Honestly, this is like, I haven't seen a positive reading in a long time. It's, it's as if, you know, they reach a, a sense of clarity. Now, um, I believe this, this week on Friday, Sunny and I will go live and she will talk about the Gemini full moon and uh, about what the energy means. But um, from what I am seeing is that Things are looking good, okay? Now, is it 100%? Uh, I, don't, I don't know, but at least it's more positive than negative, okay? Now, what is it that Maslin wants? We have your death, we have the hermit, and we have Peach of Pentacles in reverse. So they really want to internalize. They, they want to really do some self-reflection. They're thinking a lot. 
you know, especially if they're by themselves. But let's say that, you know, they're with the karmic person still. Um, they're having quiet moments to themselves, really thinking a lot. Okay. About how they've been immature, how they've been disloyal, and also how they've changed. So, Either this is like a revelation, maybe, you know, towards the karmic, maybe this is towards the feminine. Okay, so take it as it resonates. But I definitely see that this particular masculine has matured. They have done the, the reflection. They're, they're doing the inner work, the inner, um, the healing, like healing either childhood wounds or some trauma wounds. Okay, so it's going to be different or it could be a mixture of both. Now, in the outcome, they really don't know what to do, okay? Um, they really feel like they, don't, they have no control over the situation. Um, again, feeling this um, anxiousness um, about maybe leaving a karmic person. So let's just say that masculine is married or masculine has a relationship or Perhaps, you know, masculine um, is wanting to come towards the feminine, but they're holding back because, you know, if they're still in another commitment or relationship, then um, that that's where um, it's a little fuzzy. Okay. Um, yeah, their ego is actually getting in the way. That's why it's preventing them to actually move forward. They really don't know what to do. So remember, in the very beginning, I saw uh, the young man where um, he was walking forward, right? And um, this is about making a decision. Like, you know, um, they're actually, you know, stepping forward, you know, not wanting to look forward, but they're moving in that direction. Masculines, they don't know what to do. But, and, you know, it's like they're having cold feet about you know, taking the plunge towards the feminine. And I really feel like it's because ego. So like, if there's any masculines that's watching this, I guess like what spirit is saying is do some meditation work. And once you uh, check in with yourself, ask yourself, why, why do you feel uh, resistant to approach the feminine? Is it because you have certain situations that's currently going on in your life and that's the reason why you can't really approach the feminine? And and for whatever reasons those are, you know, how could you resolve them? Or is it something that you can resolve quickly? Or, you know, is this a resolution that is that needs time? So I really feel like, you know, it, it's kind of like, you know, if you have those thoughts, because Jim and I can be very flippant, I would recommend like just journaling or writing, you know, these thoughts down and really reflecting on what is it that you really want. And once you figure out what it is that you want, then you can actually move forward because if your ego is getting in the way and you're feeling, you know, really anxious about approaching the feminine. So this is like, well, what if, or what not, if you're not feeling very sure about yourself, then how could you actually move forward? I see that um, you want to, okay, but you don't know maybe how, or you don't know like what the result will be, or maybe you're not emotionally ready to actually step forward. Okay. And, and you could like flip this, you know, if the feminines are watching this, perhaps you're actually, you know, feeling the same as well. Okay. So it could apply to both sides, but for the feminines, um, being a feminine is in the act of receiving. So this is like receiving this message from the masculine. So a lot of feminines, they're, they're acting more in their masculinity, you know, always pursuing the masculine, chasing the masculine, being more uh, vocal uh, towards the masculine. And if the masculine is running from the feminine, then that means that there is an imbalance. Okay. So, like, we have here the, wow, look, we have the Empress, the Lovers, and, look, we have Knight of Wands in reverse. So, this is about commitment, okay, and choosing. Um, is this, like, for the soulmate connection, or is this with the karmic, okay? Um, 
Masculine has realized that they've been really arrogant before in the past and um, perhaps they're kind of jealous. So for some of my feminines, maybe you have chosen to go a different path because masculines can't make up their mind. You know, it's like there's like windows of opportunities or portals, if you will, um, to to actually work on things. If if you miss the window, then you missed an opportunity because, you know, if you don't seize the moment, um, you know, anything can happen. So masculines also is saying that feminines is... Um, They have, they know that feminines can love very deeply and they would commit if um, the commitment was, you know, on the table. So when it comes to this choice and decision, I really feel that masculine is, is thinking that um, they were just reckless and what they have done, you know, could, could they have done things better? Yes, they could have. Masculines really would like union, but there's a third party still they're watching the masculine. Okay, that's what I'm picking up here so far. And that's why there's a delay in communication. Why? Because they're resisting change. Change isn't, uh, you know, uh, masculine's forte. Um, they're doing uh, things uh, the long, the long way. Okay, they're taking their time, okay, uh, to get a divorce or uh, break up with the karmic. So, like, if you're in a situation, okay, and I really feel like, you know, this could apply to, um, you know, those who your divine counterpart is in a marriage or in a relationship or a situation. It doesn't have to be uh, coupled up in, in some sort of other partnership. But what I'm seeing is that... Um, They're holding back. This could be within eight days to up to two months. And they're moving forward, but very slow. And and I know for my feminines, if you've been on this journey for, for a long time, then you already know that masculines are slow. They're slow like this freaking turtle over here. Um, especially if, you know, they're in another relationship. What I'm also saying is that masculines, you know, they could be uh, arguing with the karmic, like there's a, a, like an exchange of words. It's not nice, but it will take time. So I really feel like there's something going on with the masculine uh, this week where, you know, they're doing good on their own and they're making preparations. Okay. Um, for some, it's not a clear preparation. I really feel like, you know, they're uh, subconsciously moving in a direction to really, I guess, work on their karmic relationship so that they can resolve it and move on. Okay. This is what that energy feels like. So let's go ahead and see what else. Spirit, what additional messages want to come through from Masculine Collective? Or the energies, please, Spirit. Or the energies that want to come through. What is the hidden truth? What is masculine not saying to the feminine? I feel you leaving me behind. So, you know, masculines are really feeling that the feminines are leaving. Okay. And it's false because they're still in another commitment. Um, also, I am not available. Okay. So there you go. They're not available. They're still dealing with a karmic party. And also, I know I crossed that line with you. So, I mean, 
I know that whoever is watching this, this is nothing new and this could be a validation of what has manifested or what has already happened in your connection with your divine counterpart. But what I'm seeing here is that, yeah, they're not available. They're in another situation. They really feel that you're you're moving on. You know, they, they sense it. They want to move forward, but they're not ready yet. Okay. Um, they know that they cross that line you know, to the point of no return, they already left, they already made their, their decision. Um, so, you know, is masculine coming back with, with, uh, you know, with gusto? No, I'm not seeing it, but they are moving forward, you know? Um, and again, I got like the timing, uh, like, what was it? Um, eight days or, or two months. Okay. Something like that for, for a handful of you. Okay, so timing is not absolute, it's fluid. So let's see what additional messages want to come through. What else that we need to know about a uh, divine masculine spirit? What is the energy of divine masculine? Thank you. What do you need to know about divine masculine? We have addiction and addiction is affecting this relationship. So, you know, they could be addicted to drugs and alcohol. Maybe this is like a way of being like a personality trait. Uh, maybe they have addictive uh, tendencies. So however it resonates. Okay. Also, we have fate. This is a destined partnership. So maybe they're addicted to this faded connection. And also we have healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. So, you know, what I'm sensing is that masculines are on this continual path of uh, personal healing and development. And um, I really feel like they still sense this connection with the feminine. Okay. They definitely feel like this uh, faded, uh, I want to say fatal attraction, but this faded uh, situation with the feminine and and it's not really just the feminine i really feel like it's also with the karmic like they had to experience their karmic relationship before they could make a like a sound decision to really work on themselves like i really feel like you know they weren't really loving themselves they weren't um you know putting themselves first always putting others before them and you know just for the sake of you know people pleasing right um, but you know, I really feel like masculine is finally understanding that, you know, they, they matter. Okay. Um, and so they're actually working on, on that aspect for some of these masculines, they've actually reached a level of maturity, um, you know, and their personal journey to, uh, self-love. And, and that's what I'm seeing. So, you know, it, there's a mixture of like healing a sense of understanding, a little bit of maturity, okay? Um, will this energy stick? Who knows? But at least that's what I'm seeing. All right. So let's go ahead and see what is the advice from Spirit. So Spirit, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to Divine Masculine Collective? What is the energy here? Please, Spirit. What is the message that wants to come through for the Collective? What does the collective need to know? We have, dearest you, did you know that when you stop fighting and accept everything exactly as it is right now, miracles start to happen. There is freedom in this kind of radical acceptance. Let go of unrealistic expectations and see things as they really are, not how you would like them to be. You'll be surprised at how everything seems to fall into place. When you refuse to accept things, life gets messy, you act messy, and the world stays in chaos, tension, and disarray. But don't try to force a change or manipulate the circumstance. Instead, learn about what is in front of you and face it with your eyes fully open. Then you can decide to stay or go, sink or swim, 
move or stay still. Acceptance is the key to freedom and opens the door to real opportunities waiting for、uh, to be discovered. Set yourself and others free. Loving you so much, always and forever. That is really beautiful. I really feel like you know this is intended for someone who really could use like this advice or guidance, especially around this time, especially if you've been in abusive relationships, any kind of like um. You know, personal addictive behaviors, or maybe you're dealing with someone with you know、um, addictive personality.、Um, this person could have like trauma wounding, okay, childhood wounds, whatever the case is. And if you're dealing with someone where you're all,、uh, you know, like constantly fighting,、um, acceptance is key, okay. And then how you deal with it is. Is actually, you know, the next step because you can choose to stay in chaos or not. You could release and let go, and it would be no sweat off your back. It might piss the other person off. It's because that person、um, is not aware. But once awareness happens, then they can actually work on. You know,、uh, maintaining their, you know,、um, keeping their emotions under wraps. That's what I see. So, I really hope that that was helpful to someone. Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpionmoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG as Scorpion Moon Intuition. And as you know, everything is twenty five percent off, whether it's a personal reading, a gift box. Okay,、um, all of the links are in the description box below. Thank you all. I hope to see you on the live, and if not, I'll see you next week. All right, bye bye.